welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is madison so in today's video we are going to do just a little bit of a shopping haul i was in quite the shopping mood the last couple of weeks so i picked up a bunch of things and i thought i'd show you guys what i got um when I went to edit this video, I realized that I didn't have an introduction, so here I am doing the introduction, and I'm in a little bit of a different outfit because it's a completely different day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I have is this cute, like, just kind of like a plain white hoodie from Target. Oh my goodness, it's hard to show it. I will do like try-ons of the clothing items and i'll probably like insert clips after i show you but yeah i got this from target it's just a cute plain white sweatshirt to go with a lot of things with like all my like colorful leggings and stuff i thought it would be kind of like a versatile piece in my closet that would work really well with a bunch of like leggings pants jeans all that um it was only $20 and it was the brand A New Day from Target. I just, I don't know, it feels like it would be super comfy, cozy type thing. And it looks like it might be cropped, but I'm not sure. I got is another hoodie wow surprise shock <laughs> um and it's just this cute purple hoodie it says colorado on it and it is from hollister i sized it up to a size small in this one because it is a cropped hoodie and i found that the hollister cropped hoodies are usually like quite like cropped and i'm not like a huge fan of like super cropped like i'd rather it go further down like towards my stomach instead of like right below like my uh my boob area you know what i mean um so i sized up to a size small and instead of my usual extra small um the original price on this is $39.95 i did not pay that though i believe i only paid around like 12 or 15 dollars or something like this something like that wow i can't even talk I paid around 12 to 15 dollars because i was not looking to spend 40 dollars on a hoodie that's not i'm not that type of person i like to shop the clearance rags so yeah i got this from hollister it's super cute Next up, I have another piece from Hollister. It is a cute, like, cropped, like, Henley tee. I don't know if you would call it a Henley tee. Anyways, it's a cute, cropped, like, long sleeved, comfy t shirt. It's got, like, nice little buttons and everything in the front. And it's got, like, a, a nice neutral, like, brown color. Again, I sized up to a size small because. I didn't want it to be like super overly cropped because again, I'm not a fan of that. Um, the original price is $24.95. I did not pay that. I believe I paid around like $8 for it. Yeah, there's that. It's cute. So the next piece of clothing that I got is a pair of Lululemon line leggings. I I love Lululemon, like obsessed. I don't really wear any leggings besides Lululemon. Um, I just I don't know. I think they're worth the quality. Like I feel like the quality of these leggings is worth the money. Okay, I spit it out. <laughs> So I think the quality of these leggings is definitely worth the money. They just, they last forever. And you know, my mind, my rationalization says like, you can go and buy a cheap pair of leggings from like Target, or Walmart, wherever you want to buy your cheap pair of leggings for like $10. But you're going to have to replace those again in a couple of months. So, you know, you do that like 10 times and you already 
spent the amount that it would be to buy some Lululemon leggings and I don't know, my Lulus last a long time. Uh, I actually had a pair that I got back when I was in middle school and I am now in like my, the end of my college career and just about like a year ago they finally got a hole in the knee from wearing them so often. But I don't know, I just think they're amazing quality. I will 100% buy from them over any other leggings. Um, yeah, rant is over. Oh, I also learned that if they're like newer-ish and you have like some kind of defect, like the there's a stain, there's pilling or anything like that, I guess you can return them and they will send you like a gift card to buy new ones, which like blew my mind. I didn't even know that was something that you could do and I might actually make a video about it just to like show the process and if it works or not. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, I got these nice little Lululemon Aligns. They're the Align HR Pant 28 inch in the size 2 and they just feel so like buttery soft. They're in this like really light gray color. I don't know if you can tell they're gray in person but I don't, or, 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 wow. I don't know if you can tell they're gray on camera but like put up a piece of paper next to them. Shows their gray color. They're really cute. I thought they would pair nicely with like the Colorado sweatshirt that I got. So yeah. Another thing that I got from Lululemon was a scrunchie. Um, they're pretty popular these days, so I thought I would try out a Lululemon one. It was twelve dollars, and I thought it was just super cute. I really love the bow. So yeah, it is called the Uplifting Scrunchie Bow cute like white color really like it I also got some more scratchies from other places because I just really like them I feel like they're nice and they don't cause like damage or breakage in my hair which is like a big thing for me I don't like to cause damage to my hair so I got these ones from Ulta and they're by the brand Riviera and they're just like velvety like there's a neutral one, cheetah print, black, and I just thought they were super cute. I believe they were around $8. And then I got this pack. It's like mini scrunchies, kind of like this one that I have here. It's not as fluffy. They are by Scrunchie brand. Oops, that's upside down. Yeah, they're by the Scrunchie brand. They were from Target, and they were about, I think they were like, three or four dollars I don't know they're they're pretty cheap so I thought I'd pick up a pack of those and these are kind of like more muted neutral colors as well which is super cute also picked up some regular ponytail holders because you know them things are always like disappearing I don't know where they go but they disappear and after a while I always have to buy a new pack so I just bought these from uh, I believe I got them from Ulta they were only like three dollars so yeah just a normal pack of scrunchies and then i also got a pack of little bobby pins because i don't know about you guys but when i put my hair up there's like pieces in the back that are like shorter than the rest of my hair and they all kind of like fluff out during the day and it really bothers me so i like to bobby pin them back and i haven't had bobby pins for a while because those things seem to disappear as well <laughs> um so I, I bought myself another pack of them so let's let's hope these don't disappear too fast next i got some of these kitsch kitsch face masks i don't know if that's how you s pronounce the brand it's right up here kitsch kitsch k-i-t-s-c-h I got them from Ulta. I really love these. I have them in other colors as well, and they're really nice for like work because you can actually like breathe through them and stuff, which is super nice. Like, I have asthma, so sometimes it's kind of like hard to breathe with different brands of masks, like the ones I got from Meyer. 
it, it's just really hard for me to breathe and I found that these ones are really easy and breathable and nice. So I picked up a pack of these, they're like around $12. They're nice neutral pack. I have like a pack that has like leopard and stuff like that. I really, really like them. I got the new makeup sponge. This is, I really don't know how to pronounce the brand, but Sonia K from Target. Sonia Kashuk? I'm really bad at pronunciation, but I got this from Target because my other one is trash and it has a chunk missing in it. So it was, it was time for a new one and I got like a neutral colored one so that maybe it doesn't show makeup as much and doesn't look as gross. I don't know, we'll see. Then I ordered some Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Fair Light from Ulta. It is my favorite powder to use to set my face and I was running out so I picked me up one. And then I got a couple things to try out. I got the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner in the, in the blue. I think it's like this shat set. Oh my god, I can't talk. In the sapphire shade. I wanted to do kind of like a look with this as like a blue eyeliner. I thought it would be cool. And it looks cool. I really like the NYX liquid liner, the regular black one. So I'm hoping that one is just as good. And then I picked up an e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade Flirty Birdie. My friend has this and every time she wears it, it's so sparkly and nice and I really like it. So I thought I would pick up one for myself as well. Guys, that is it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe you saw something that you'd like to check out. I'll have everything that I can get linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and leave a big thumbs up. It really truly does help out my channel when you guys do that for me. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh,